Welcome to Kona. This is an adventure slash survival game set in northern Canada during the 1970s. I've heard really good things about it. I've also heard that it focuses on the story aspects a lot more than the survival aspects, which is something that I think I'll really enjoy. So let's jump into it. sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Okay, so now I'm in control of the character. This is as far as I've played the game. Just to just spend some time in the car tweaking settings to make sure everything's okay, and that's all I've done. You know, I did actually see somebody play this game years ago in early access. Uh, yeah, it came out in early access a while ago. It's completely released now, but I did see people play it a little bit. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna like get used to the controls that I have. On off radio. Step out. Now wasn't a good time to wander about. Hamilton was still out there. So some rich asshole wants to pay me a bunch of money to waste my time. That's fine with me. Obviously there's more to it than just that though. Kinda reminds me a little bit of Firewatch. Ooh. Cool, you look back and your hand goes on top of the seat. It's good that I can look back because my rearview mirror doesn't seem to actually really be reflective. They had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. It's so cool that I actually get to drive. I'm assuming this is going to be sort of, sem like, at least semi-open world. When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. <laughs> Oh, Chevrolet. License plate caked with mud. Oh! I'm always surprised when I look down and actually see my legs. Oh, how often does a road need to be closed to require two picnic tables at its gate? <laughs> That's cool, so it's got like item descriptions actually on the surfaces that you're looking at. Empty bottle. What am I going to do with that? Some nice carvings. Carved faces out of, out of the trees and then painted them. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to re-establish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. Oh. Pincer. Fire starter.
Is that phone actually connected to something? Uh, hold on. Is there a flashlight? I saw, like, equipment. Oh. Oh, I can also just press the F key. Assume that would probably work. It will be good. It will be good. Is that like the motto for the place? Northern Quebec and its inexhaustible resources. The province of Quebec sits on an inexhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Our valuable minerals could travel to the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. Get involved and invest now. Quebec's economic might will be awakened. At the heart of the wilderness. The north is swarming with wolves, caribous, bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and hordes of other majestic creatures that are every bit the equals of Africa's wildlife. We are the Africa of America. Come discover the north and experience a genuine white jungle. County of Manistan and its people wish to see you very soon. <laughs> Why does that seem so aggressive? Guess that's the whole map of the place, I'm assuming. Uh, I would assume I'm probably right down here. There is no you are here on the map, though. But it seems likely. That rock seems so obvious, I figured I could pick it up, but guess not. Hamilton never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough... Oh. The man himself. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. I feel like the narrator is kind of talking too much, it feels a little bit over the top. And there's actually an option in the audio settings for narration frequency. Default is play all, but you can also turn it to important only, so let's try that for a bit. Carl's less accurate in much shorter distances, gotta get somewhere to warm up. Okay. Oh shit, there's the other car. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. 
should I really be looking? Like, should I look at this right now? Um, so that's my health. Uh, I guess that's my mental state. And that's my warmth. I'm assuming that should... Yeah, that should be high and not low. Um, I do have some stuff on me. Inventory. I have matches, but I mean, just lighting a match isn't going to warm me up, right? No way. I don't know if I should do this right now, but uh, I'm going to go for it. It was a small, locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left a chance. Isabella photo. Isabella, you gave meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Purity? That's an odd choice of words. Okay. Oh, I got a map. Actually, it's not a bad idea to look at that real quick. Uh, so I guess we're there. It looks like... Oh. Looks like there's like a tower up here on the right, maybe? Yeah, here we go. This looks good. How am I doing? Yeah, my heat is so low. Please be unlocked. Prevent a call from freezing to death and save the game. Oh, so that's through the save points. Heat. Gotcha. Um, so I'm guessing being in here probably is not going to warm me up unless I light something, but I wonder if it'll prevent me from getting colder. missing something? Do I need to just like... I probably need to just get out one of these things, right? Oh no, I can't. Maybe I need like wood or something? I'm not sure. Chains, cool. Still missing something, I think. I think there's some wood out here, right? Yeah, there we go. Can I grab more? Heat's going up really fast, and my mental state, too. Good. Alright, now I can see properly again, and move faster. Oh, it's one of these old manual push mowers. I had one exactly like this when I was a kid. Give you a pretty good workout. This game is really detailed. So much, like, survivalist stuff in here. What is that? I'm guessing... Hmm, I don't know if it's food, actually. But oil and food and saws and stuff. Grain of some sort. Alright, let's take a look at what I just got. I wonder what you'd use chains for. Oh, so down here this looks like inventory space. Yeah, and each one of these logs accounts for a very, very good amount. I guess the kind of orange bar that's on the right side, I guess that's how much is going to disappear when I drop one. And the entire red part of it both sections is probably how much uh, I would free up if I dropped all of it. Yeah, so most of the stuff doesn't take up anything or very, very little. 
but uh, I'll keep a couple logs on me. Definitely could come in handy. Looks like you just need one to start a fire, though. Documents? Where's that? What about the briefcase? Oh, it's considered a consumable. Also, apparently I have cigarettes. I mean, that makes sense. I was smoking cigarettes inside of the car. Uh, looks like it hurts my health and improves my mental state. Yeah, that makes some sense. Keys required to open this, of course. Alright, well, let's plan where I'm going before I leave this place. Yeah, this is a very, very, very large map. I mean, a lot of it's probably fairly empty, I would, I would imagine. But, like, I've gone almost nowhere. Um, my car is probably wrecked, huh? I just don't see anything else that's within walking distance. I guess I could just run. Maybe, like, the general store is a place I could run to. I wonder if sprinting keeps your heat up a little bit. Well, let's go check out this tower. Now yeah, let's just leave it open, I guess. I feel like I should close it to keep the heat in, but I doubt that matters. A little outside fire pit thing. I don't know if I can spot anything from here. Jesus, this blizzard. How am I doing on heat? Ah, eh, pretty good. It actually doesn't go down that fast. I probably could make it to the general store. Alright, I guess that's the game plan. Go out to the main road in for my life. Just making sure there's no, like, hidden snowmobile or something. Oh. Is there stuff down here? Well, it looked like maybe there was, and I saw that shovel, thought maybe I could dig, but it doesn't look like it. I could start a fire out here, too. Is there any point in doing that? I'm kind of curious. Like, is it going to melt the snow or anything? Nah, no way. Okay, here we go. And just to double check. I'm not getting this thing out, right? Then again, I do have a chain. Withdraw and deposit. Huh. I can load it up with stuff. Oh, there's a fire starter in there. I'll take that. Oh yeah, I can lay chains. Okay, cool. Okay, and that's like, that did it for all of them. It's in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going any further. Oh, there's probably something in the trunk here. Yeah! So this was the car of the person who hired me, right? I think the briefcase said, like, WH, wasn't that their name? Like, William something or something? I forgot their name. But, I'm pretty sure that's them. Alright, let's use it. It's gonna heal me up to max. I feel like the right time for happy music. Want 
to make sure I'm not going too fast. I don't want to careen off into a tree in this blizzard. So where are we now? Oh wow, we still got a ways to go. We're only like maybe halfway, a little bit less than halfway to the general store. Alright, I can speed it up a bit. Let's hope there's no hairpin turns. General store was close by. Oh, I guess this, that was a loading screen, I think. Sort of. I can just fill this thing up and surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Yeah, I figured. Oh my god, look at how cheap it is. Cheap everything is. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottle. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Uh. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Oh, I can choose to keep the picture or not. Yeah, let's keep it. Do I have to take pictures? Like, is it absolutely necessary? Oops. Yeah, of course it's not going to turn on. There's no power. Note from Gills. You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry. I'll have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going out to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I'll have to close down the shop. Unless you'd like to come fill in for me. I wouldn't dare advise you, after all, you must know how it's done since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Gills. Yeah, so we heard in the beginning while we were driving here that the locals were generally not too happy with, well, Hamilton, so it's William Hamilton, right? Because they're like buying up all the stuff around here. It says, uh, wouldn't dare advise you after all, you must know how it's done since it's yours now, so it sounds like they bought the general store. And Gills is not too happy about it. Is this like... Do 
I have to enter a password in <laughs> into the register? Huh. I'll figure out what that's about later. Broken clock. How convenient. What am I going to do with that? I've now stolen fine wine. Why? It's definitely a struggle of some sort. Broken glass over the ground. Maybe part of a lantern, I think. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Oh. Someone's caught up in something big. This place is a mess. Can I uh, look what's inside of it right now? What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. It says torn and I can't read inside of it so I'm guessing somebody tore it specifically to just take whatever was inside of it, something they didn't want people to have. General store also serves as a post office for the locals. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. <laughs> hmm. There's a date there too, maybe I need to enter that into the register. 1968. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. Quebec's Klondike. Northern Quebec's economy is booming. The north of uh, Chibogamau area's population will soon reach 30,000 souls, among which thousands of happy families will be prospering thanks to the hard labor of their fathers, who will be contributing valiantly in expanding Quebec's national wealth. Oh god, I can't stand to read this. Uh, the mines, a sector in full expansion. Okay, the mines are important. That was mentioned to be a big sticking point. I think they said the, uh, the, the Cree were not happy about the mines being reopened. Did you know that since 1960, Canada tripled the amount of resource royalties it collects. Do you know that the country's true source of richness is lying under your very feet at this very moment? The building of our schools and our hospitals depends on minerals. Exploiting our resources, the road to our future. A secretary wouldn't be, wouldn't be luxury in here. To open a cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum, press sale, turn the crank two times, punch the machine if it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Price, sale, two cranks. Electricity from generator. Electricity from power line. Okay, well the power line's obviously off, so I'm guessing I need to turn on the generator. Hmm, uh, I'll look at that in a second. I want to see this cash cash register thing. So just any price, two numbers minimum, right? 
and then press sail, and there we go. Okay, good. I'm not going to steal their money. Just have a key to something. Post key. Oh. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. Why is there a gun in the post box? A murder weapon. What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Is it mean if I said that I wish I could turn off all narration? I don't like the narration. I don't. It's really cheesy and just... I feel like it's just stating the obvious most of the time. It is as a citizen of Her Majesty and the free economic chambers of the world that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the free world is in grave danger. A member of my community, the Honorable... I wish they finished that. Oh. Yeah, in screenshots, I saw pictures of wolves and, like, the character with a gun out at them. I hope I don't have to shoot them, but maybe I do. Um, oh, I should take a look at whatever this is. These are, like, my case notes. Eh, actually, let's, I'm, I'm going to do that later. This equipment menu is kind of weird. Can I assign that to a hotkey? Yeah, okay. Is this thing loaded? Yeah, it looks like it. Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. It's so out of place. It's almost like there's a light coming from within. It's glowing. Wait. What the hell is that in the picture? What are those glowy things? Why does that only show up in the picture? Uh... Something supernatural going on? Keep that one. Vince? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? So I believe I'm actually limited on my Polaroid, right? Yeah, 28. Hopefully I can find more. You're not limited to 28 for the entire game. Is that another one? Should I keep going? Just like out into the wilderness? Oh. Now on the map, there's a little place that's been marked there. How did that get marked? Hmm. I'm not gonna go out there just yet. Ah, oh, 
shit. And generators in there. How am I doing on heat? Uh, not too good. <laughs> Maybe I'd find the key in the trash can. Uh, I probably need to follow the prince to find the key then. Probably need to get to that house, if I had to guess. Ooh, physics. Oh wait, is that the generator? Uh, can't seem to interact with it? That's odd. Why can't I? It's got a key in it, it's got a button, it's got a thing to pull. Oh. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even see that. I need duct tape and, like, pliers. I have neither. Hmm. Let's start a fire. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, it just saved, so I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So far, early thoughts? I am very intrigued. This game is really pretty. And I'm already into the mystery. I want to know what's going on. I do wish the inventory and just interacting with all this stuff was less less clunky. And I wish the narration wasn't so silly. But I'm definitely into it. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.